faculty members in particular inspired me at the beginning of my journey at Wittenberg to really zero in on what was really important to me and what my passion was and to like follow that with an unwavering amount of um, confidence and relentlessness. And those two uh, professors are Dr. Rosenberg and Dr. Monkey. Uh, Dr. Rosenberg, I had the great pleasure of being in many of his classes. I became a history minor because of Dr. Rosenberg. And I also know the support that I have at Wittenberg. If I need to call a professor, if I need to call anyone at Wittenberg and share our students' story with them, I know that there will be an outreach for us because there are professors there that started our passion for what we do and therefore I know that reaching out to yeah, Wittenberg, my smile as you asked me the question is because I, I don't have just one. Um, one was the late Donald Bussaro who was my choir um, director and I got to see parts of America um, through the choir tours on spring break um, that I never would have gotten to see otherwise um, at that point in my life. So he really exposed me to a lot of what was possible and helped me to imagine and dream differently. The second person is Dr. Kathy Wagner in the Communication Department. Dr. Wagner served both as a personal and professional role model to me in multiple ways, and I just found her to be an incredible encourager. The third is Dr. Welker, um, who I had for a course called Sociological Perspectives of Education, and he was my first advisor at Wittenberg. Um, I changed majors, but he didn't stop advising me. And, um, and then the last is Angela Mohammed in the alumni office. So I worked there as an undergrad and she always had a warm, inviting um, perspective that she greeted everyone who worked um, there. With. One would obviously be the late coach Pam, Pam Evan Smith. Um, just her perseverance and her grit. So this is not an easy job that we do by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I'm a person that's well. I'm, I'm healthy, I'm, I'm okay, I come to work every day and I bring it. Um, and she did that and she wasn't well, you know? Like, she she went to, was at chemo from eight in the morning till four and then would come and be at our practice until 6.37 every day and never once ever, ever, ever complained about it. But I didn't know if I wanted to be a teacher and actually Dr. Welker sat down with me and he said, you have to do this. And I said, why? And he said, because you're a star at it. He said, I think sometimes you're almost too empathetic. Like when I've watched you, you give them so much of yourself that you're gonna exhaust yourself. You need to like, you need to find the happy medium. Um, but I just started like to hear from the perspective of people who had watched me with kids. And I started to hear like all this information about who I was as an educator. And when I stopped and thought about it, I thought, why not be a part of something where you're so needed?